we probably won't need the artifact until we're on the planet, assuming we get that one event again. So I'm gonna say we decompose you for now. Something fell from the sky in a flash, and now you are surprised we are surrounded by a swarm? <gasps> are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Not this again! What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to 60 Parsecs! I'm your host, the Birdman, known as Falcon, so... Last video, we survived very long. We survived very, very long, but unfortunately, we still came to a demise. I'm looking to get us an ending here today. Good ending, bad ending, don't matter. I want to get an ending, like an official one. I've read that there's about like 21 different endings and a lot of variations of those 21 endings as well. Emmet gives, he has Experimental. Experimental gives you minerals and chemicals over time, which is a great way to make food eventually. Like every five days, I believe you can make some food with them. So it's a good way to kind of get some food. So as you can see, I only have three people this time. I'm doing this because I read that four people, especially with the food issue, is not that great. And there's also currently a bug that they're about to fix that um, the hunger is a bit whacked at the moment. If they're hungry and you feed them, they'll be hungry immediately after. You gotta feed them like twice, but expect a hotfix for that pretty soon. For now, let's jump into our run over here. And this is gonna be the first thing you always do, which is like, do do the speech, right? So I'm gonna go with intelligence because it's Emmett's um, forte. We can't craft at the moment, so that's gonna be all we do here for now. Um, Last video, I gave like a really long one. Um, giggity giggity. It was like 35 minutes or something like that. So let me know, do you guys like the longer versions, the 20 minute versions? I would like to do like maybe one ending every two videos. So like maybe split one run half and half. So apparently my speech went quite well. Good. Um, experimental alert. That's about it, huh? Okay, let's see what our event here is for today. Well, that's unexpected, Captain. There's cheese in the pantry. At least I think it's cheese. I don't know how it got there. Did somebody sneak it on board? Um... Something tells me that eating cheese that we found here is not as safe as maybe finding tomato cans, so I'm going to say we don't eat that. And over here, see, we got two points already for everything because of our boy's experimental perk. So let's start off over here by... I'm going to probably want to make that cow eventually, no lie to you. I think we might need that cow. Remember that we got that one event where I could have been God had I had the cow? Do I make it now? I think we make it now. I think we make it now. So, let's go forward. We're not going to eat the cheese. We'll make the cow and have it ready. I mean, I, don't, I probably don't think we need the cow until we're maybe on a planet and maybe that event pops up again. But I might as well just have it early, just for the sake of it. I did not eat the cheese. I think that's a really good idea. I think that's a very good idea. Now, next thing, I think we start making some more food. We're going to need a lot of food to survive here. Once we get to a planet, then we can start scavenging, but food is going to keep us going until we finally, hopefully, find an ending, too. Interesting news, Captain. It appears that there is a hollow space behind the wall panels. A hidden room, maybe. A secret stash. It could be worth checking out. Um, yeah. Well, luck, unfortunately, I have no strength. But I have two agility. So maybe with agility, we can um, hopefully find something good. More food would be nice, or something that I'm missing that's very crucial. I don't see anything that we're missing here. Apparently nothing happened. Nothing behind the wall panel. We got nothing. Um, but we got one soup from what we crafted. Okay. Now, do we make another one, you're asking? I say, yes, we do. So, let's see what our event is here for today. The shuttle lacks the EM shielding found on larger vessels. Put simply, it was never meant for long-term space travel. There are some inherent risks, namely to your skin. Remember how your mom always told you to wear sunscreen at the beach? You're way more likely to get a sunburn out here. Oh, good. We're gonna lose our medkit already, more than likely. Not exactly happy about that. But we'll see how it goes. And we're only going to feed people when they're starving because until this bug is fixed, we got to push food as long as possible. So we lost the medikit. No surprise there, but... Oh. Well, guys, we basically got 10 free chemicals for using the medikit then. It's going to take us three days to make, but we don't need to make food for a while because we have a lot of food. All right, cool. That's perfect. Okay, never mind. That was a great event. <laughs> I want to see that more often every single run from now on. Captain, thus far, I've kept the shuttle in artificial gravity. But I need, to tell, I need to see how well you and the crew can adapt to a zero gravity or weightless environment. I'm gonna have you go because if you get hurt, it's fine. Look, I want to keep Emmett alive because if he dies, it's game over. And I want baby Bronco for the strength checks and for maybe scavenging the planet. I, I, I believe in him. He's the strong one. So kind of right now, Dee Dee's kind of like the person, you know, we could probably lose and I won't be too heartbroken about it. So three days for the medkit. That's perfectly fine. I mean, we'll get it back like in day number eight. So for a couple of days, we have to roll it out of medkit, but I think that's fine. Didi's actually one piece, good. Didi passed a zero gravity test with flying colors. 
Dolphins don't chase tennis balls, you say? Oh, yeah, it's fine. All right, cool. So, um, pretty good this far. You guys are hungry now. Again, we're going to wait till they're starving. We're going to wait till they're starving. Oh, my gosh, you found a holographic chest. Oh, this is where we play chess against the computer. I'm super intelligent, so we'll go with that one right there. And we still got two more days for the medkit to show up. All right, right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I don't want to jinx it, but things are looking pretty good. Day seven might be starvation. Yes, as expected. We defeated the computer. With any luck, that gave us some loyalty. Yep, so we have loyalty now because we defeated the computer. So my crew believes in me. I'm smart enough to beat a computer. Um, but you guys are all starving, so it's time for everybody to get some food finally. Without this bug that messes with the hunger, I think um, last... I mean, a lot of you guys, if you've been playing the game, you probably would have been able to beat the game a lot easier. But until that bug gets hotfixed, you know, we kind of have to deal with it here. Um, Captain, I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news is that you're using the airlock as a space toilet. It was a success. It's now packed full and ready to be emptied into space. The bad news is that the airlock hatch is jammed. If you don't fix it soon, our clogged toilet will become... or will quickly become an infection level event. Ugh. Oh, you better use that tape. You better use that tape, dude. And we're going to get the medkit tomorrow. Okay. So far, pretty good. I hope we get some sort of event pretty soon to start getting, uh, getting us in touch with a planet here. There's different planets. I've actually seen a robot planet off camera. The one that we got last time was like filled with a bunch of aliens and Warhead Town, the Rat Roach, which is kind of like a, a throwback to Fallout. We have our first aid kit. And the duct tape saved the day, and we still have more duct tape for more use eventually. And now nobody's starving, but they are hungry as expected. But again, we're only feeding when they're starving now. And maybe even we skip a couple of days when they are starving, just to kind of conserve some food if we can. Um, before we make this decision, let's come over here and craft ourselves some extra food. We're up to 24, 24, and 14. Can we upgrade right now? We need to get you up to 25 to upgrade that one. I'm not sure. There's really no information right now online about what upgrading the items does. Does it give you more usages for them? Maybe. But right now, there's really no concrete information, so I'm not sure what upgrading items will do. So we'll just stick to soup for now. Let's see what our event is. We found a small metal box in one of the compartments labeled to Sir, do open. I think last time when I did this, we lost food. Of course, we were using Didi then, so it might have been that we just failed the skill check. I have Emmett over here with maxed out intelligence. So... Maybe this time we get a different event. It would be nice. It would definitely be nice. Especially because I'm pretty sure soon enough we'll get to start getting some information about planet landing as well. Day number nine. Hey, look at that. We actually opened it up and we got this, um, automatizer. I'm not sure what this is for. I think we once got an event for this that required it. I didn't have it, but nothing really came of it. So I'm not really sure what the importance of this is. But I guess we'll find out. Make more food? Absolutely. Make another one right there, boyo. Your attention is required, Captain. This is the most abnormal. All right, here's our transmission for the first time. Who's going to handle this? I'm going to have my boy, Emmett. He's smart. I trust his judgment. Everybody's loyal. Hungry, but loyal. And we have plenty of items right now, which is looking pretty good. Day number 10. Starving again. Okay. Um. Eh, I'm not sure we feed him just yet. The starvation hit really quickly after the, the last feeding, so we might push it a little bit. Capping you to see this, I am not easily excited, but this is one of the greatest moments for humanity and human AI alike. We are not alone in this universe of signal. We intercepted. We're finally decrypted. They are alien transmissions as incoming from another life form. Okay. So we'll see what planet this takes us to eventually. Um, we'll come over here. We don't have enough. We have to wait one more day to get enough to make one more food. Upgrade-wise, we still need to get you up to 25, so we've got to wait. What is her event? Hello there, Captain. Might I ask why you are going through the files? You're not really meant to see the contents of my digital storage unit. Huh, Protox. Now that's a fun file. Just please don't... Oh no. What have you done? You shouldn't have ran that program. Protocol X initiated. That's a secret protocol. It was meant to be an experiment. The consequences of initiating the protocol will be severe. Use your skills to do something, Captain. Well, I can't use strength because I have no strength, so we have to go with intelligence yet again. Emmett, my boy, you've been doing me pretty good this far. Starving. Oh, look at that. He went from loyal to friend. Dude, I have never gotten up to friends. All right. Um, <laughs> how long will he be friendly if I keep him starving? I don't know. Do I feed him now? Oh. Mm -hmm. I read that I should feed him whenever it says starving. But come on, man. They were like hungry for two days and they're starving again or even less than two days. 
This will bring us down to... This will bring us down to a five. Well, we're about to land on the planet, so sure, I guess I'll feed him now. Things are going pretty good, so I don't want to jinx it, but again, we can't just be throwing food away so easily. Not that we're throwing it when we actually do need it. Alright, come on. Come on, man. I want a good run. I want an ending. I want a legitimate ending. Whether it's bad or good, I don't care. I just want an ending. Protocol Lex has been disabled, Captain. You were smart enough to hack the computer and stop the dangerous program from launching at the last moment. Phew. I probably should have told you about Protocol X, Captain. It's an experimental program installed on the ship computer by the masterminds behind the Astro Citizen program. I am not at liberty to divulge what it does exactly, but rest assured that it's a good thing you stop it in time. Hm. I kind of want to see what happens if you can't stop that. Just out of curiosity's sake, really. Three days before we, um, apparently touch down. Okay. Uh, we should be able to make one more food now. We shall do that. Captain, I'm picking up a large object of unknown origin not far from us. It's hollow. There could be supplies inside, or maybe even other intelligent life. Should we activate the super fancy tractor beam? Oh. I think I remember this from the last run. And it didn't go well. But again, a lot of these events have a good outcome and a bad outcome. So because it didn't go good last time, doesn't mean it's going to always go bad. So you know what? Right now, I'm experimental about stuff, so we'll definitely go with it. We have medkits just in case. As long as it doesn't make me lose food. I'm okay. You pulled the mysterious hollow space thing aboard and opened it. Unfortunately, the astronaut hiding inside had long since perished. Decomposition in space is interesting, Captain. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that's what happened last time, too. Um, It was just a negative mental hit. Now, did that really affect you guys? Mentality? Or morale? No, no. Sanity's okay still. Okay. What I could start doing is because we have 32 minerals, I could start recycling stuff making food from it and then making the um, items back again. So right now, what? We probably won't need the artifact until we're on the planet, assuming we get that one event again. So I'm gonna say we decompose you for now, make some food what I get from you, and then we'll make you again with the minerals we have. And we're almost up to the upgrade portion too. So we'll confirm the recycling of that. Our water recycler is overheating. The overheating itself isn't a problem. The system has safeguards. The problem is we store our minerals. Oh, okay. Yeah, here's the thing, dude. I can't be losing all those minerals because, um, that would be terrible. A manual reset could work, but will it be tough? Do you want to try it? I, mean, I guess we do, because if I lose 32 minerals, that's actually really terrible. Okay. Please don't lose anything right now. We should be able to see the planet today or tomorrow. What's today, 14? 13. No, we still need to get one more two days, I think. We lost everything. What did I just tell you guys? And see, the terrible thing about this is that I needed those minerals to remake the artifact we just broke down for. Ugh. Captain, are you alright? Those weird spots on your arms are a little worrisome. Can you see them? Please wait a while while I research this database. Unfortunately, we weren't able to identify your affliction. Well, I have a book, so maybe... I think the book last time did um fix this up for me, so that should be fine. Ugh. Do I want to feed you guys yet? I guess I'll feed you. We'll have four food once we make that one over there, at least. Okay. I mean, I, I think the run's been going pretty good this far. But losing 32 minerals is a lot. Like, that's a really, really big bad one right there. Oh, we're gonna get the, um, the ice... That might be the robot planet I told you guys about. I've seen that off camera. Okay. Weird spots appeared on your body yesterday. Luckily, you found a solution in the handbook. The spots were the first symptoms of a potentially dangerous and highly shameful ailment. At least it was easy to cure. All you need to do was to follow the step-by-step -step instructions in the handbook. Baby is still your friend. Good. That's nice of him. Okay. Well, what do we got here? Two more days before we can make some more food, naturally. Recycle. I'm not sure if I want to recycle anything at this point now, especially with the all the minerals we lost. Captain, wake up. We're approaching some sort of celestial body. It resembles a moon, but I think it's a small planet. Um, I don't see how using the gun or the lighter is going to fix the steering system, so I think we got to use the handbook again. I hope it doesn't mean we're going to lose the handbook. If all went well, we should be able to land on this planet right now. There it is. It seems like no matter what you do, it's always going to be a really rough landing. So our telecomp is now... We're in Robotofu. Our, our telecoms is broken, but luckily we have our own... No! The automatizer broke in the in the landing. I mean, 
I, I don't know what it's for again, but we got it for free. Well, I guess we got it for free, so I can't be too heartbroken about it. You are still upgrading for one more day, and then we'll make some food afterwards. Okay, Captain, I'm detecting a humanoid figure on approach. It's a robot, jeering along towards us, evidently blind. It was walked right up to the shuttle and is now clinging to the hole repeatedly. The pitiful thing appears to be malfunctioning. Oh, that's that clicking sound I can hear in the background? Okay. I I'm gonna use the communicator to get in touch with him. Don't break this, because we're gonna need this to get in touch with, um... To get off of this planet, I think we need that for. Alrighty. Please don't break that. Just get in touch with the um, robot. Hopefully it's a friendly robot. Not a robot that wants my brains or something. Day 16. Alright. My communication link is still there. Oh, I forgot to send um, Baby Bronco out, too. I'll do that right now, then. As the demented robot nearby kept methodically clanging its head of our, on our hole, you decided to use the communicator to try and come to a mutual non client agreement. The radio signal must have penetrated the robot's choppy mind of some level. It looked around bemusedly and started off into the distance, shaking its head. Must have been the morning after the night before. <laughs> Captain, the expedition module in the back of the cabin is now active. Oh, we couldn't even send them out yet, so now we can. Perfect. If you want to survive here, somebody has to go outside from time to time. Yeah, I know. So we now have our crafting module up to level 2. People are starving. Let's come in here. Ah, oh, here you go. So... Now we're able to craft... So at level 2 we can make the armor and the mask, huh? Alrighty. Well, let's start off by making soup first. And I do want to send Baby Bronco out. But I think before we do that, I'm gonna feed you, buddy. And I'm sending you out tomorrow with some food, okay? Or once you're at least hungry, not starving. So, select that one. At this point, I'm gonna start holding off on feeding you guys for a bit. Although, although, let's see. We have four, we have one coming up, we'll have five. I'll give you one. I'll okay, take two. We'll have two left over for the people here. Hmm, that's still kind of pushing it quite a bit. Oh boy. You found a couple of rusted and swollen cans of soup! Okay, last time this was free food. If this works out, I'm feeding you guys tomorrow, so please don't die. And you're going out tomorrow after you're no longer starving. Okay, okay, this, this might be good. This might be good. Bronco, get ready, buddy. You're a friend, so I want you to try your best out there for us. Day 17. Yeah, we got two free soup from that event. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alright, so... First and foremost, let's send our boy out here. I just noticed it's at level 1. Can I upgrade the spacesuit? Can you upgrade this? It says level 1. Huh. Can level it up. Oh, you can! You absolutely can. What? Navigation system? This wasn't here before, was it? Or you know what? It probably wasn't here because the navigation system was still locked. So once it unlocks, you get an upgrade. Oh, man. Well, the problem is, dude, had I known, I would have probably saved that energy for upgrading this instead. Like, maybe navigation system. Hey, well, you know, at least we learned something new again. Okay. We have two places to go. We have the village, which apparently could give us minerals. The hazard will be... Oh, radioactivity, and we don't have a mask for you. What about the tourist information? I don't know what the hell that is still. Does anybody know what this grassy thing is? This would be for energy only. Oh, either way. Village, yeah. We'll send Didi because she's got the speed for it. I'm going to send you without nothing. But you're going to eat before you go, right? Oh, well, let me do this event first. Captain, my weather systems are detecting a storm on the horizon. It's moving fast, so it will hopefully pass by tomorrow. But this one could get nasty thunder, lightning, gale forces. Oddly enough, even though it seems like my automatizer is broken, it's giving me the chance to use it. Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. And, yeah, she's gonna eat before she leaves. So I think this is fine. Um, and I think we should probably feed you now, too. Before it becomes an issue. Okay. And what are you doing right now? Um, I could craft something now, too. Oh, dude, the mask. I kinda wanna send Didi off with that, but I don't wanna wait another day. I don't want to wait another day. Forget it. Didi! I believe in you, Didi. Even though I originally didn't, I said you were a throwaway. You're not a throwaway anymore. Your speed might be useful here. You ran the weather monitoring systems on the battery power. The storm moved south, and you were spared by the worst of it. By morning, it had completed past. Oh, don't you love the smell after it rains? Okay, so 
The sting saved us from the storm, so that's that's good, I guess. You spent the morning sifting through the washed up junk piles, but it was just a bunch of waterlogged crap. Dee Dee went off to explore a nearby robotic settlement. Hopefully she won't run into too much trouble, yeah? You're telling me. Alright, what's her event right now? Something fell from the sky in a flash, and now you are surprised we are surrounded by a swarm? <gasps> are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Not this again! I could have, you don't understand, I could have made this yesterday. I just didn't think we'd get the event here on a different planet. I thought, I, I guess there are not planets. See, I thought that event was specific to that one red planet we were at. Not in Robot Planet. Oh my god, you gotta be taking the royal piss right now, dude. I'm, I'm super saltified right now. It doesn't matter if we make it, I mean, it's not gonna be ready in time. <sighs> I'm, I'm, I want to know what that event does, and I can't because I never have the freaking cow. Never have the freaking cow. You guys aren't hungry? <sighs> Should I make the cow now? I mean, it feels pointless since we're going to lose that event anyway. Do I make the mask? Maybe something happens where I eat the mask? You know what? I'm going to make this mask just in case. At this point, it's giving me events of items that I could probably craft, so the game's trying to choose them. The RNG is trying to kill us here. Well, at least it doesn't seem like there's a negative event with these tiny red flies. I would like to see what happens though. you have the, the event, or the, the cow. So, they've left. Um, what happened here? The swarm followed the trail. Oh no, we, we, so, if you don't have the cow, you lose one soup, it seems. Ah, well, that's that. So you're starving. Um... Oh, it, took, it takes two days to make you. I thought it was only one. That's on me. A family of robotic nobat set up camp nearby, Captain. Their elder wants to meet you and baby. My scans show that they don't have any weapons, not even sharp sticks. Will you approach them? Well, I guess we have no choice. The problem is, it says agility zero? Well, you know what it is? It's a combination of both of our stats put together. So, because I'm, I have no strength and he's got... I got, like, minimal speed at two. He's got no speed. It brings us to zero. So, I guess the only thing we can do is strength here. I hope we're not going to fight these guys. Especially if they're not, you know, mean. <laughs> Alright. Anything else we need to do here? We're just waiting for that to be made. Let's go forward. Not really sure what I want Didi to... What I want to make with those minerals. Assuming Didi comes back. I still haven't thought about that. Alright, we're both starving now. You march to the robot camp trying to act tough, but the robots didn't buy it. You do know we're pacifists here, right? The family elder said. You left the robot camp wondering if a more peaceful approach would have been better. Ah, No, I didn't want to be enemies! I just didn't know... I oh, come on. How am I... Okay, you... I would probably word that a little bit more differently. Like, how is agility supposed to be passive? I thought it was like a skill check. See, it should tell you, like, you know, strength is an aggressive <laughs> option. Agility is a passive option. Well, at least they didn't do anything to us, but still. Now we're both starving. We need one more day to make more food, which will be another feeding for both of us. Um, Man, we might want to start considering recycling something now. And I think I will. What do we recycle? It's a very good question. I think maybe the lighter? Maybe the lighter? It doesn't seem like it's a too common event with lighters. And I will feed you guys now, and then tomorrow we'll make the soup once we get the amount of um, things required. We should be able to make two soups once we deconstruct the lighter as well. Captain, we were able to detect a transmission of unknown origin. Yeah, yeah, good. So now we have contacted the outside world or whatever's left out there. So that's good. Didi doesn't come back. I hope she's still alive. All right, day 21. I think we're going to start wrapping it up here, guys. And um, as I mentioned, this is, oh, this is actually a longer episode, too. This is like 30 minutes, it does. So, let me know if you guys like the long- Oh, Didi's back too! Ooh, baby. Great success, Captain. Communicator attached to the communication console works like a charm. I won't judge the aesthetics since we can finally receive an answer transmissions. Okay. You could tell Baby was amazed that we have achieved today. He smiled. There's hope. Didi returned from the nearby robot. Village, she brought back 20 minerals. She's- her state's a little fragile. She is famished and her mental state is questionable. Didi got a few lungfuls of some thick smoke coming from heavy machinery. Could be bad news, yeah, because we didn't have the mass at the time. I could have made it, but, you know... Well, she came back with 20 minerals. 
Hungry, weak, and tired. I'm not sure how you deal with the weakness. That's the only scary part here. So we got 20, we can now have minerals too. So we have to make a couple of things here. So I'm going to wrap it up here for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is going to be another long episode too. And I guess, let me know if you guys want to see like, you know, these episodes or you want them shorter. Or if you want like a half and half, like half of the run here. I mean, I mean, I could die at any moment, so it's kind of hard to say half and half, but longer episodes like this, let me know if you want, want that for this series in particular. And if you're enjoying it, let me know in the comments. And if the support's high, we'll continue going more and more with this because I already like this game a lot. And I'm looking forward to that freaking hotfix bug for the hunger. That should make it a lot easier for us in the future. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. I will catch you next time. Any tips you want to leave behind, by all means do so.